Today I'm going to try and demonstrate turning a sphere with my new sphere turning jig. We have to start with a rough piece of wood and that which you see in front of you I think is a piece of oak. I'm not sure but I'm going to turn that round and I'll take another uh, shot of it as I get it uh, on the lathe and start to turn it round. There's the block of wood we started with. It turns out it's a piece of sumac from our neighbor's yard. I had it waxed over on the ends. So it was kind of hard to identify the, the bark, but it's a piece of sumac, so it's pretty dry. We'll see if we can make something round out of this. I'll uh, get the sphere cutting jig set up and away we'll go. Here you can see the jig mounted on the lathe. The piece of work is suspended between centers on this end is an extension to help give me a little more room. The cutter bar and the cutter tip can be manipulated through pushing it in and out. There's a bronze bushing here and here. This whole device is made out of medium density fiberboard. It's quite dense and everything and quite stable too. So by pushing that in and out you vary the cut. And you can see there's a pin down here that allows it to pivot. So by pushing the the cutting tool around, you can see it, how it would cut in a continuous arc. Let me uh, make sure everything is tight here. Actually, I need to readjust this. I lost about a quarter of an inch, so stand by. I readjusted it. I slid it further towards the headstock. There are two bolts that tighten the whole assembly, the whole plate down. I'll tighten those up, and we should be good to go. So let me make sure this is focused in on that a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, lay the spinning. I gotta go out around the corner here. Gotta find, I need to trim it off starting at the sand. I'll just snug this up a little bit. Way around the corner. I'll loosen the knob. I'll push, push the tool in a little bit. Push the tool in. I'll swipe, swipe it around here. You can see that this end here needs to be cut away, so I'm going to pull the cutter out a little bit and whittle away at that. Loosen, make a pass, loosen. I can make passes in both directions. I'm getting down here. I want to leave this tenon on here to make a base out of it. So. Swing this way around and see if it's engaging. Not quite. A little pass up here. Push. I can, it's very easy to push the bar in and out. Make another pass. Take a out of it. Now let's bring it all the way around and see if we're starting to form a ball. There we go. One modification I'm going to make is I'm going to put a knob insert on each side. That way, I can, if I'm doing this this part of the uh, ball, I can put the tightening knob over here. It actually works, and I'll show you. It actually works just to loosen the knob and freehand insert it. Get a good grip on it. 
and for roughing in, this works okay. The nut, nut, nut is not tight. I'll push in a little bit more, tighten this lock nut. Swing it around here. I think I can take a bigger bite, we'll try. The reason I'm pushing it all the way back and starting is that's because the, the knob is on this side. Drive at, the drive at this end is a large stab center, and it will slip if you take too much out. Now we've completed the, uh, roughly completed the, the main ball. I'm going to put on a different tool and see if I can't smooth this out just a little bit.